the good old Rambling Chains podcast. I. It is Wednesday, right? It is Wednesday. Normally we do these on Friday, but with all the killing floor stuff that's going down, we just want to get these out of the way quick. <sighs> Bananas. So, they've announced a ton of stuff over the past couple weeks for Killing Floor 2. Big update coming in the early December range. Which is probably for? next week. Next week or the week after, most likely. And they've announced a lot of things. The first being the return of the Patriarch, who got really goddamn fat. Mm. Or buff, or however you want to look at it. No, no it's, that's it's definitely fat. fat. I see it more as a, as a ginormous growth on his back that is slowly withering away his body. Nah. However you see it, Patriarch's back, and he has some new moves. Woo. And everybody... Guys, uh, yeah? Apparently 75% off is free because... Okay, it's kind of off topic, but I was browsing the Steam like front page for deals... And I just see TF2 there. It's twenty dollars, seventy percent off, free. Correct. Um, so yeah, Patriarch's back. He is <clears throat> everything he can do in KF1. In addition, Plus some other things. In addition to two new attacks. So, in Killing Floor One, if you weaken the Patriarch, he would run. He would cloak, run, hide, and heal, and you could take him down while he's in the weakened state if you can find him while he's invisible and healing. That still John, remains... that's the wrong map. That still remains the same in Killing Floor 2, but... He's getting a mortar launcher. Yeah, he cloaks... If, uh... If he's weakened, he will just cloak okay. himself. And... Or he'll, uh, he'll use his invisibility to become Murder Death Man and essentially just go around and do essentially sneak attacks. Yep. Also, join me, I've got the new map. Weren't really going for a specific map, but okay. Well, I mean, you said that that's what we were going to stream early. Ah, yeah, screw it. All right, goodbye. <laughs> we're the most professional people. But, um... Uh. <laughs> um, yeah, and he's a mortar attack. So, in Killing Floor 1, his main enemy, or ability, I should say, was his minigun arm, which also had an RPG. Now, if you're outdoors... And he can't make the RPG shot. His arm will uh, kind of do a little <sighs> Optimus Prime transform me do. And what? Shut up. And become a death mortar and fire up and over. Nowhere is safe. No one is safe. Well, that's not true. If you're inside in a closed space, that's pretty safe. Remember how he said Catacombs was probably built around the Patriarch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, maybe. The Patriarch was always big on fighting, or like a main way to fight him was always ambush with traps and C4, especially C4 traps. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it's essentially the whole meta or whatever. The killing floor meta. Just, just lay down C4 traps and nuke the entire map while Hans dies. I mean, uh, Patriarch dies. That brings up the point of what's going to happen to Hans. It's now 50-50 chance. What boss you fight the end? Well, actually, we don't actually know that. Because, uh, oh, for all we know, it could turn out being like, uh... No, uh, we know all the maps that we've... Pr huh? We know it's 50-50 who you fight. How? When? What? I said then the PC Gamer article about it. I didn't read all of it because it's long as hell. It's like four paragraphs. Um, I'm on break. Sweet. Yeah, 50-50 chance on which boss you get. I don't mind And it. they said they wanted to make it specifically so the gear you... <sighs> 
players mostly use when they attack Hans. Is ineffective against the Patriarch or something? Ineffective against... Yeah. Is ineffective against the Patriarch. Someone has just messaged me, that's unfair. If it's 50-50, how will you know what to use to prepare? That's the whole thing. You don't. Um... But oh, you can... Block. That... I like that, honestly. That you have the ability to just get blindsided. Well, I mean... Under that logic... I mean, I don't think it means the gear that you use. I think it means more the strategy you use. Because if that was true about the gear thing, that would mean literally every single weapon in the game is worthless. I mean, we use essentially everything, especially if you have a multi-cult... I was about to say multicultural, Multi-class team. That would mean essentially almost every weapon for those classes is essentially useless except for, like, the one that well, like, for example, some person didn't take. with Hans, you know, it's almost... Why would you use anything aside from support on Hans? Because there's 20 shots in an AA-12 mag. <laughs> It takes 15 to go through an entire Hans health phase. One high level support can go through an entire Hans phase. So... Yeah, that's because Hans is weak as hell. So the Patriarch would be built in a way to, you know, stand up to support. Because support can essentially just tear Hans a new asshole. So some well, strategies that are effective against one won't be good against another. Exactly, it's the strategies, not exactly the gear. Because, again, Hans is really weak, if you think about it. Like, literally, we took him down today with a team of all Berserkers. And most of those Berserkers, I was the highest level with, like, level 11. I was level 6 commando as well. But... Still, though, that was essentially 5 out of 6 players that were low-level Berserkers killing him. They did He's specifically mention in the article that, like... They want perks to play a role in it. Yeah. Like they specifically said, if you, and I quote, you might be up shit creek if you bring gear to fight Hans and suddenly the Patriarch shows up. Mm. But I mean, is there any gear that's like deliberately for... I mean, essentially all the gear in that game is just whatever kills the fastest, or, you know. Well, every Zed resists something, so... Not really. I think the only resistance, like, Zeds have is for, uh... Uh... What, uh, Scrake and Bloat, and, of course, what's-his-face, Hans, who wow, have there's blast a resistance. whole guide on Steam. Someone went to the files, every Zed resists something, aside from clots. Really? Uh -huh. What's the resistance for a Bloat? Um, I believe it takes reduced fire damage. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know if that's it, but it's in the guide. You might be thinking of husk. Right. Because it's bloat, that doesn't make any sense, really. Um, so yeah, that's the Patriarch and everything that's changed with him. Yeah, and... I'm still gonna wait till it actually comes out. So I start judging it. And another thing, there are two maps to fight the Patriarch on. Two new maps. Farmhouse and Dark Forest or Dark Woods? I don't remember what the map's called. Pretty sure it's Dark Forest. Either way, they're really dark maps. PC Gamer described both of them as they had a chance to play them beforehand. Oh yeah, they usually get to play early stuff. What they mentioned is Dark Forest has a day and night cycle. Huh? It will get progressively darker. So wave one, it's like late afternoon, but by wave seven or ten, you will be blind without a flashlight. That's Wait. pretty cool. Yeah. Like, can you not use the, uh, the regular wrench in this? You can. Huh, I'm trying to change over and it's making me stick on the gunslinger. Uh, oh, yeah, item, server. item servers bug up like that, don't worry. Because it's been four updates for the game in the last three hours, so. Fair enough, I'll go a different class, because 
I know sometimes. Why am I yawning all of a sudden? Anyway, uh, what's next on the agenda? Um, well, again, I just want to say I really like the day and night cycle, quote unquote, even though it's really just progressive darkness. But that's a neat idea. We saw that a bit in Catacombs in the last update, where it's very well lit, but players and Zeds can destroy it, and it normally gets very dark on Catacombs matches by the end. Yeah, I mean, that was player, like, done, but this is, like... This is, kind even of if you're super careful, it, you're still not... You gotta prepare. Yeah. Which makes I mean, me think, like... Will Commando have an advantage? You mean Berserker? What do you mean? Commando's the one with night vision. So oh, it's Berserker. Berserker. Well, I mean, there, again, remember there were talks back when they showed the Gunslinger, or talked about the Gunslinger originally. They did say that there were talks in the works about implementing right. to it where uh, flashlights, flashlights are on your, fla uh, yeah, body flashlights. But see, that only is the center of the screen, whereas night vision is the whole screen. Also remember, but also remember, uh, night vision isn't really that well polished. It's something they still got to work on, as for uh, me and Kane, I don't know about anyone else, but it lags their game to hell. Mm. You can do it, John. Yay. Yeah, do it. Anyway, um... Um, so the other map... Well, before we move on, <clears throat> I just want to say the, uh, PC Gamer description of Dark Forest also mentions there's a very, very small house and rivers and clearings. So, in other words, this is another broad open map. No, it's very wooded, but there's clear spaces in it. But you don't so want to stay in those clear spaces for long because that's where Zeds tend to congregate and that's where the highest Zed traffic is. Would you I say see. it's where they tend to clot? Oh my god. I swear to god. So that kind of gives you the choice. Do you want to go somewhere where you have room to fight Zeds, but be forced to fight more if you go there? So... Uh, I think that seems cool, like, depending on the area and uh, effects spawn spawn rates or whatever. Yeah, so... I think that'll be interesting. Yeah, I mean, again, you'll, I'm gonna have to play the map for myself and all the new stuff Yeah. before I judge it. Unlike, uh... We'll get to that. Mm -hmm. But, from what it sounds like so far, Tripwire is trying a lot of new things with Dark Forest, and I'm very excited for it. And everyone's ignoring it. And that brings us to the other map, Farmhouse. Essentially, Tripwire Wait, said, we were only talking about one map? Yeah, I all thought that... we were talking about both. Nope, everything <laughs> we said was just Dark Forest. Okay, now I'm actually kind of hyped for that map. Well, I mean, I'm hyped for them, but I'm, you know, more hyped. <laughs> so, Stupid game. <laughs> farmhouse is apparently based half as many horror cliches as possible, to the point where it's like, you know, not too spooky, but at the same time you can be like, hey, Friday the 13th, well not Friday the 13th, but like, Evil Dead happened here, so. No, I wouldn't, I'm a big Evil Dead fan. Well, not big, but you know, I like the movies yeah. a lot. PC so Gamer, though, described it differently. They said it's disappointingly similar to the farm finale from Left 4 Dead 1. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know the one where Bill, Francis, and Zoe and Lewis are at the farm? They hold out for a bit, then call an APC over the radio from the bottom? Yeah, but isn't that essentially all farms? I mean, I'm not saying like the whole APC thing, but isn't that like all farms look alike? I mean, unless you're for a big company, but... Well, yeah, but they know. said like this one is like very similar in layout. Hmm. So we'll have to see. Yeah, I'll have to see them for myself because they showed screenshots, but they were only for you know Patriarch, and they were very, uh, you know, they were kind of uh, compressed or something. Sure. Focused. Yes, that sure. Uh, what I mean is they didn't show off like 
much of the map at all. Right. And what parts of the map there were, they were either very, like, they weren't really that lit, and they were kind of, and the other areas around the picture were kind of, you know, just dark. Right. The farmhouse is also a relatively dark one. It's a nighttime map, but mm -hmm. the house itself in the surrounding area is relatively well lit. So unless you just run from, like, the main area, you won't have much of an issue with lighting. I kind of hope I get a... Uh... A farm. Uh, I hope I get a farm out of a farmhouse. Yeah, that's uh, that makes a lot of freaking sense. But what I mean is, I hope it feels like the farm map from the first game, or yeah. at least like you know, like an upped version of it. Because I think that'd be neat. I mean, farm like the original one in the first game. That was scary. Like that was legitimately scary. I got lost many times. It was my favorite map, and I think it was the biggest in the game too, right? Yeah. Well. I don't know if it's the biggest. It or certainly the biggest. felt big. Yeah, it certainly felt big. Because I, I've i played that map. I, like, occasionally still pop open KF1 and play it, like, solo. Um, and I still cannot tell how big that map is. Because it's just, it's just too dark. Too dark and, I guess, too big? If that makes any sense. Well, if I remember correctly from the trader, there are some points where it's, like, at least 700. <laughs> 700 watts, John. Like meters to the trader. Diddly doos. Meters. So, you know, it was Jesus. pretty... It was pretty big. And Are you sure you're remembering that correctly? I believe so. From, like, okay, corner you to corner. You stole my ball. I'm gonna... <sighs> hey, now. You're a rock star. But now we're gonna get sued. Oh, well. Go payday. No. Okay, I'll die now. Kane, just, just do it. I can't just do it, I'm bad. But, um... The... How's so, yeah. chat looking? Chat's dead. Good. Rip. But, yeah. The map seemed interesting. I'm very excited. And with that, uh... we move on to my favorite part of the update. Six Gunslinger! Oh. Well, I guess that also mixes in. Gunslinger looks fun. Or at least it sounds fun and kind of looks fun. And I guess is fun. I don't know. Please don't hit me. Jesus, a 13 second respawn. Uh, what's the message, Sean? Uh, no message. Just people in my rusty call spamming. Alright, well anyway, basically Gunslinger is also coming with this update, and what does Gunslinger entail, do you ask? Well, shut up and let me explain. Basically wow. what it comes with is a brand new perk with all the 25 levels and, you know, skills and perks and perky perks, and shut up. And it also comes with a couple new weapons, which include... Akemvo weapons, which is sort of a brand new uh, weapon class. I mean, it was introduced in the last update as just 9mm, but now we have full-on, like, deagles, like, uh, revolvers, and... 1911s. Yeah, nine, well, uh, yeah, yeah, just... And uh, what was the last one? The Peacemakers or whatever, like, the big-ass revolvers. Well, there were four, right? Or were there only three? Hold on, I'll have to look it up. KF2 Gunslinger. But basically... Uh... Um... Crap, I lost my train of thought. Um... Weapons. Uh, yeah, weapons. Uh, if anything is to go by by the picture that I guess we remember to link in our thing, I don't oh, know. I'm me. going Travis mode here. Um... Basically, it said that there are six new weapons, but whether this is counting um, the Akimbo weapons and their single variants, I don't know. But if it is six brand new weapons, whether it be off perk or on perk, uh, that's, you know, really cool. I mean, obviously, we know that three of them are the Akimbo variants. And if, again, if that's, if those six weapons are in, or if those other three weapons are indeed the uh, single variants, then, eh, whatever, no loss or gain, I guess. But, um, but if they are brand new weapons, you know, that's pretty freaking awesome, because 
not only will we be getting weapons for the gunslinger, but possibly other weapons for different perks. But again, who knows? Uh, that could be just uh, six new weapons for gunslinger, which are just the Kimball and single variants, or they could be like new assault rifles, new shotguns, new melees. Woohoo! Who cares? Somebody kind of tripped up Teehee Tripwire on Twitter, and they revealed something which indicates that sharpshooter is going to be the next perk. What did they reveal, John? Stop so killing me, Kane. Someone said to them, nice sniper rifle skin on the uh, Zed Konami page. Mm hmm. And <laughs> they went, oh, yeah, we do have a lot of sharps sharpshooter stuff in the works. But there's nothing for it coming yet. So. Well, yes. There wasn't actually a sniper rifle skin, but the tripwire Twitter made it sound like sharpshooter might be next one or at least they've got weapons happening for it so well that'd be cool i mean uh again if those aren't if those other three weapons aren't the singular versions those might be weapons for upcoming perks that they're testing out like kind of like what they did for the nine millimeters and the katana yeah because the well, katana I mean, is going to be a martial arts weapon but it's been in since the beginning. launch yeah right. so for all we know the next update could possibly be or, I don't mean the, this update, I mean, like, the where the one. hell am I going with this? I mean, I, I mean the jacket. I'm pulling a Travis! Anyway, um, what I mean is, this next update can introduce, like, a, like, a lever action or something to test out sharpshooter weapons. And then an update after that could bring in sharpshooter and possibly... Uh, martial artist, because who knows? Maybe more, maybe martial artist weapons are also coming in this patch too. We don't know what those other three weapons are, uh, unless you count, unless they're, they mean the single variants of those weapons. So we right. don't know. Please don't crucify me. Uh, do you want to read me. the time ten... to go boat and drown me? Do you want to read off the list of the ten perks that they have for Gunslinger? Because those have all been announced already. Uh, and I'm yeah. Excited. Uh huh. Um. Brandon just found something. What did Brandon just find? Four of those weapons are indeed. Uh. Okay. I just looked at it again. Those six weapons. Two of them cannot be Gunslinger. Why is that? Because. There's four tiers for Gunslinger, and that's the Model 1858 Revolver, M1911, Desert Eagle, and the and the 50, 500 caliber Magnum Revolver. Those are four weapons. That means that there's two unannounced weapons coming. Hmm. Because, you know, my original theory was, you know, 9mm were going to be tier 1 because, you know, they're kind of basic. But then I realized... That, um, Why would they only have single that, variants for two? No, 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 no. I meant let. I meant it like this because I kind of realized that the nine millimeters they count. Uh, they count towards any perk at all. Not just you know like the katana itself is off perk, yet it does not count towards you know uh, XP, while the nine millimeters do. And then I searched it up to see what the weapons were. And then I noticed that there was uh, four weapons, and the base weapon is going to be the model 1858, which eliminates four uh, weapons from that list. That means that, and that there's no way that the other two could be like, there's no way that el eliminates the uh, single versions of those uh, being in that list. So that means that there's two unannounced weapons coming, which actually kind of also funds my. Uh, theory that another off perk weapon is coming you know for you know an upcoming update and or, may end up as part of a perk yeah or it could just be like a new shotgun or a new uh, uh assault rifle or a new melee or something right. so in other words four weapons confirmed two weapons unconfirmed and we don't know what they are and next one this is gonna be a real quick one new playable character oyston jaegerhorn who is he? Oh, yeah. Uh, that is, I think, if I remember this right, he is the lead singer or guitarist. he's 
guitarist, whatever, he's a lead guitarist for the band Demon Hunter, which is actually a band that worked closely with the devs in creating some songs for the soundtrack, or at least that's what I've been told. Yes, uh, something we've distressed. It's just the face of the guitarist, not the voice. It's not the voice. It's not the background. It's a completely new character. It's just the face is modeled off of him. They call it the Swedish Viking, although as many fans were quick to point out, he is a Norwegian first name and a German last name. He's Swedish. Who cares? And he's a very biker-looking rock star. He's, you know, because he's a rock star. And a lot of his dialogue and some gameplay clips that Tripwire put up reflect that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, along with that, um, which was kind of announced w alongside him, was the, if you any of you have noticed, you'll have noticed that there is over 104 achievements in Killing Floor 2 right now. Oh, but right. most of those achievements are not currently revealed. Well, when Tripwire announced y y uh, what's his Jaegerhorn, they, uh, they kind of told us what those achievements are. Basically, they're... Uh, unlock some of those are unlock uh, a certain rank for uh, each perk like if say I, re I reach rank 5 with my medic with my medic perk I get an achievement for that rank 10 I get an achievement rank for that rank 15 achievement and so on and so forth until you re hit uh, 25. rank 25 and then there are the hotshot achievements which are achievements that you gain for completing each of the uh, maps on a difficulty with each perk. So it would be like complete normal with uh, Berserker. Okay, uh, let me get, let me straighten this out. Like complete like, Paris on normal with every perk. Complete Paris on hard with every perk. Stuff like that. No. No? Oh, well, you got it right. Oh. Uh, yeah, you're right. Actually, uh, I'm just being stupid. Oh, good. Uh, well, here's what it says exactly. Win a match on every difficulty with each perk, which is, you know, going to be an achievement for each of the maps added, which currently we have a total of, let's see, Burning Paris. This update Bionics will bring Lab, us to a total of... Frosty the Snowman Land. We will have eight uh, after this update. Yeah, eight. So that's about, I don't know how many difficulties are in the game, so There's do the math yourself. four, I believe. Which makes for 32... There's normal, hard, suicidal hell on Earth. So 32 achievement map things. And then okay. there will be... This will be seven perks? Two, three, four, five. So that's 35. That doesn't add up. Or does it? Yeah, it adds up. Yeah. Oh, so not to... And don't forget the... Uh, the blank on blank dip oh wait unless that's being so does that mean the old achievements are being replaced with the new achievements what old achievements you know just beat just beat no those like are staying Paris. those are staying mm -hmm. okay and something the f about the character we want to point out and then we're going to jump back to uh, gunslinger for a bit but something we want to point out about the character you he is free, quote-unquote. You don't have to spend money to get him, but you At have all. to join the Killing Floor 2 community Steam Hub. Uh, no you don't. Yes, you do. Wait, did you say join? Follow. Yeah, you just need to follow it. You don't actually have to join any groups. It used to be an official group, so follow the Killing Floor 2 game hub on Steam. Free character. And so, what are some of the perks, and by some I mean all ten, of the perks in the Gunslinger tree. I'm trying to find them. I don't want to go to the Steam forums because the Steam forums pisses me off. Just go in the announcements. I, it's still... Okay, fine. I'm already there anyway. Uh, keep talking about uselessness or something. That's what Brandon is. No. Well, yeah, I mean, it's established. Um, other new features that are coming. It's to this update, which we'll go over while he's getting all that done. Servers will have welcome screens that I assume other, custom owners can set words, up. In other words, 
if any of you have played Team Fortress 2, like we're playing, or Left 4 Dead 2, or essentially any Valve game, really, and gone to a community server or whatever, you'll notice that there's always a MOTD, which is message of the day. Uh, some servers will say, like, they'll tell the rules of their server. Um, some will just say, you know, it'll have the default message, like, have fun, kill Zeds, we'll eat, so on and so forth. And then some, which might actually be seen as a negative, some servers like to host ads, which, uh, quote-unquote, help fund the server hosters or whatever. I would imagine it does. I mean, no, but it just gets really annoying after a certain point. And so servers will have welcome messages. This has various bug fixes and improvements, though those aren't yet specified. And some stuff that they haven't talked about yet. That being, get ready, Steam Hot mods dogs. and Map Workshop. That's been announced. Yes, but they're changing it because the way the workshop currently works is you submit items and Tripwire will consider them for the game, Team Fortress 2 style. Now, there will be different sections. High quality submission for the Z economy, which we'll get to in just a second. And we're not saying that, you know, some of the user stuff that you're able to download isn't high quality. We, we just mean that... Uh, That's the segment you submit it to if you believe it's high quality enough to go directly into. Yeah. Well, I mean... I guess if you put free stuff out there, I guess you could still, you know, put it in there, but... Yeah. Uh, it's just Tripwire's oops. going to be a lot more kind of intense on judging it. And also, trip that's the one Tripwire will be judging. Yeah. And basically what is going to happen is... Uh, I feel like we have not let Kane talk. No, no, I just don't have much to say. You guys are way more into this game than I am, so I'm just kind of here being... Uh, okay. Well, basically, what the system does is, say you like a skin, and you're like, hmm, I wish this was in the game. Well, I can put it in the game. And basically, you subscribe to something, you see it, but no one else does. So it's kind of like your own little personal skin. Like Left 4 Dead 2 weapon models. Exactly. Or character models, or bikinis, or nude mods. But yeah, why are there so many of those? And the same will be applicable for maps. Official maps, I believe, will be all Tripwire, but you can download any community map you want once it's on the well, workshop. Actually, uh, some community maps have been added in the past. And again, I'm not talking about uh, KF2. I'm talking about KF1 here. Yeah. Uh, for the couple past updates for KF1, and I know I'm actually surprised that they still update that game. Do they? Uh, well, they don't really update it too much, but I know I saw... I came back to it yesterday to play a little match. And basically, I noticed that there were a couple maps in my listings that I know I did not subscribe to. Check the store page, and apparently there was a winter update uh, either last year or this year, and I'm not paying attention. But there were some maps that were added that were community-made. Right, but as we know currently, Tripwire does not have any plans to implement community maps into the official rotation yet. At the time being. Right. Whether or not they will in the future, Who we knows? hope so. Currently, that's not a thing. Yeah. But I finally and have... we've been heard. informed that the thing you were talking about was 2014, not this year. I could have sworn, because... Um, hmm. Because I could have sworn I saw an amusement park Christmas map, and I played till, like... I played till no, man, summer. We played that. we played that last year. No, no, we, what we played, I know what we played, and it was, uh, that was Santa's Factory. This was like a full-on amusement park. Well, I know the one you're talking about. Are you sure you're not thinking of Ice Caves or Christmas or whatever? Yeah. Because it was full-on amusement park, and I've never seen this map before. I played it with Tav and Waltz, like, last year. It's pretty old. Are you sure? Because it's on the front page. I don't know, the yeah, KF. Damn it. I'm fairly certain. Alright, I'm looking it up. Well, anyway, while I do that, basically, I got the perks. Ten perks for Gunslinger. Woo, what are the two Tier 1 perks you can decide between? Basically, uh, Tier 1 is, you know, level 1 uh, perks, which you have a choice of sh uh, sh 
shoot and scoot, move faster while shooting and aiming down sights, or quick draw, which is faster weapon switching. At level 10, you're able to pick between uh, rhythm method, which is each headshot will increase your damage, or bone breaking, flat damage increase, which is just, you know, a damage increase. Uh, level 15 is speed loading, uh, fast reloads. Penetration is additional penetration. Level 20 is center mass or uh, center mass, which is an increased stumble power with body shots. Or knockdown, with it, which is increased knockdown power when a uh, sprinting Zed is shot in the leg. And level 25 is apparently called Zed time or something. I don't know why it's labeled as that. But it's called fan fire, which is shoot faster in Zed time. And uber ammo, unlimited shooting without loading in Z time. Mm -hmm. uh, can you go for the tier two ones again? Because that those seem to be the most interesting to me in the whole tree. I closed the page. All right. What there were was if you chain heads headshots, each you get more damage with each one. Or you could pick instead of doing the risky chain thing, just grab. Flat out damage upgrade. Right. I'm. See, that's interesting to me, because it doesn't mention, at least not yet, it doesn't mention a cap on the headshot chain. So could you chain it to the point like wave after wave where you could eventually find yourself able to just one hit Hans if you keep that chain going well enough? I mean, I guess, because I mean, I've honestly gotten it. I've gotten to the point where, like, as support, I've been able to get. Like a hundred thirty-five headshots in a game, which is crazy. Right, and with Gunslinger, which is you could argue is about precision, if you can chain these, oh man. So it might be better to just go for headshots, or if you think your aim is not that level, at least not yet, you have the option for the just proper damage buff, which might not get as intense. So, you know. Yeah, never know. And of or course you're you not do. you're not limited with perks in Killing Floor, you're allowed to just switch any perks on any tier that you've reached between waves. So Um So all this being said, time for the big one. The elephant in the room. Hitler. He was... Today, we're here to talk about World War II and Hitler's atrocious movements. Uh, no, we're actually talking about Zed economy. I didn't sign up for that shit. I want to talk about Hitler. Which, according um, to some people, is Hitler. Segways. Hitler's Hitler. <laughs> oh, Zed economy uh, Hitler. I see what you did there. Zed economy. Brando, take it away. I'm okay with it. <laughs> wow, thanks. That's not how to journalism. I, uh, this is journalism? I thought this was just us giving BS. Son of a bitch. Just explain what the thing is. Uh, Alright, basically Zedconomy is... Um, Tripwire Interactive is implementing a sort of shop in the game where you can buy... Um, Skins, sell skins, yada yada yada. Basically, they're implementing skins and loot crates. Essentially, you get a case in the game. You can either you can pay for it to drop, or I mean, you can pay for the key and then you open it and then you get a random item. Or you can just play the game and get random drops, which are possibly of the same quality and or the same items. Right. If you beat Hans, or you can just, or you can just, or you can just buy them straight from the store, right. and if you not beat Hans, have to do the stupid gambling thing that people are mad about. Although I'm not mad about. If you beat Hans, you get skin drops, cosmetic item drops like hats or clothes, or you get or a case or a USB drive. Right, which is essentially a key for Team Fortress or Counter Strike standards. So. You can get everything free, but if you take the free route, you've got more gambly kind of thing with picking and choosing which cases to unlock. You mean the paid? No, if you do it free. Because if you pay, you can just get the item directly from the store, right? Yeah, but you can also buy the keys from the store. Right. So you have the option to take a box and just go for whatever, or you can directly buy the one you want. But if you're like me, and don't intend to spend a cent on it, and just 
I do. And just Not intend big. to uh, take it longer and yeah. go for the free route, you've got a bit more of a gamble. Now, oh, uh, the entire gaming community, thanks to a certain developer who did a certain thing last month, the entire gaming we're community... We're talking about Payday 2 and Overkill. Subtle. The entire gaming community... So it's not my strong suit and I don't care. And I don't even have a suit. I've got my birthday suit. I'm wearing it right now. But uh, they are... John, being stripped of your flesh is not your birthday suit. Aw. It's my Gorefest cosplay, guys. <laughs> You're missing a lower jaw. Oh, okay. Let me just... Uh... But anyway... Moon Priest, we need you. <laughs> a lot of people are very unhappy. Although, Tripwire has explained many times, and for many good reasons, why it's a thing that has to happen. I.e., they almost went bankrupt in their last time they didn't do this. Tripwire or... even said, today, in a Steam forum post, they are struggling. The only thing they have right now making revenue consistently is Killing Floor 2. And even Which, that, again, that's not selling very well anymore. Because it's still in early access, and a lot of people don't trust that label. So they need these microtransactions to stay afloat, and everyone's witch hunting them, and leaving negative reviews, which hurts them. People oh yeah, are... they're down by like 5%, and that's really bad, considering the fact that if anyone wants any form of development from this game, like, the development for this game's already slow, and that's because they don't, they, like, barely have any money going into it. If and it's also because they slow... put in polish and care to each update. They don't release bugs, they test things beforehand. Yeah, and the thing is, um, you know, if it's going slow already, and then this happens, and, you know, not many people are into the game, you know, player counts are going down, they're not going to see any reason for them to support this game anymore if it's not going to do anything. If no one's going to play it, if no one's going to fund it, no, they're not going to see any reason for them to keep working on KF2. They're not going to want to add new perks, they're not going to want to add new maps, new characters, new weapons. And if KF2 they're not gonna flops... Add Tripwire goes down, essentially. That, or they're just gonna spend the entirety of their time developing Red Dead 2, or not Red Dead 2, um, Rising Storm 2, which isn't even in early access or any form of. Uh, and even, from my knowledge, we haven't seen anything from it. Like it's just been announced that it's coming. Yep. And how they're gonna start that if they've no money? Cause KF2 is dead. And I know it sounds like we're supporting, uh, you know, like greedy business whatever but some companies i.e the one brandon mentioned earlier did it for greed reasons tripwire is doing it to stay in business and people are calling them greedy and saying they're trying to kill the game for money it's like no they need money to survive and unlike the other company which used that as their main excuse tripwire actually does and if you actually go to their website and see their crew, they, I, and I'm leg I'm being legit about this, just, you can go to their website right now. They don't have a huge crew. Like, hold on, I'm on the web, I'm on the web page right now, let me see how many people there are. There is a limited amount of people, they have very limited revenue sources, and people are trying to kill KF2 because of this even though they need to to survive, and by extension, that will kill Tripwire, and that ain't right. And also, the content sharing. In KF2, there's this content sharing thing, which is if you have like an exclusive promo item that changes gameplay, everyone in your server gets to use it as long as you're there. That is pretty key. And that will be the same for any microtransaction weapons, if they ever exist, that change stats. But right now, they do not change stats. They are purely cosmetic. Uh, do you want me to count out how many people are on their team, according to the website? Did you not, while well, I was going on that whole speech? No, I'm, I've just pulled up the page now. Don't bother. Just talk. Uh, because... I mean, there's not a lot of people here. I mean, for game developments, uh... 
Either way, sort just, of. You know, people are saying, and that reminds me, another big gripe people have with it. It's in beta. I oh have... yeah, that. Uh, people are essentially complaining. You know, it's an early access. This shouldn't be happening. All those. I don't you know, understand why they arguments. go for the early access label. It's beta. Just. Yeah, I know. It's just, it's beta. I mean, it's a label. People complain about slow beta. development times. Yet you got to remember, in the past, before this was even a thing, we didn't even have these sort of betas. We waited for the game to come out, and then. You know, we played it. If it was a buggy mess, oh, uh, Fuck you. there was no way of patching it because it was, you know, already released. There was very little fun uh, online functionality in the past, so on and so forth. I mean, you got to remember, in the past, there was essentially no community beta testing. None of this. Uh, like, beta, te beta phases can go on forever in, like, normal game development. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Basically... One of the major major arguments is that um, the game is in beta. It should not be having this sort of system done. It's the only, you know, it's it's stupid for them to do this. Yet you got to also look at the fact that there are other games out there that are also doing this, such as H1Z1, Rust. Um, well, let me pull up the actual early access. Uh, unturned to an extent, although that can easily be argued, and I'm that's not going to go into it. But that's another argument, which we'll get to. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, again, this is not um, something that's new. Other games have done this in the past, like the ones I just said, Rust and H1Z1 and a couple others. Um, tell me, does uh, Arc have any form of microtransactions? Not that I know, but I have not played since july yeah but i mean i again this really isn't the first time this has happened but yet people tr are treating it like it is the first time and another common thing is the crates exist it's the gamble system a people, lot of games have that people argue that like it's unique to tripwire it is not Let's take uh, John. I'm pretty sure you can list off all, most, or if not all, the games that have that system in play. Payday 2, Team Fortress 2, Counter Strike Global Offensive, Halo 5, and now Killing Floor 2. There are more. I assure you, there are more. Call of Duty. Call of uh, Duty, that's another one. Uh, if I remember, some Battlefield games have that sort of system with their whole, uh, with those packs you can buy for like five bucks and contain random weapons or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think that's a thing. Uh, in Battlefield, it's just like attachments for your guns and whatnot. No, no. Still though, that is still the thing. That's still. Yeah, no, I'm not saying it's not, but it's not to the extent that cough, cough, payday, cough, cough, has it at. Dude, you might want to get the cold checked out. Yeah, I know, it's really... How's chat looking? Pretty good. Spanish Inquisition 8, what's happening? So, yeah, that's a few of our gripes with it. And another thing is like, oh, KF2 shouldn't have this, it's free to play. Or it's not free to play. Same issue as before. Tripwire survives by doing these so they can deliver proper large amounts of contents like maps for free. Yeah, and I mean... And also to survive. Also the whole argument that, um, you know, this shouldn't be in the game because it's paid. I mean, look at CSGO and Halo 5 Guardians. Hey, CSGO has one of the biggest online communities... Well, not online, but, you know, on Steam. It's one of the, like, I think it's, like, the second most played game... With, I think having like, yeah, consistently, and it's like, let me look how many players are playing consistent, consistently right now. When it's like 8 o'clock for me, 9 o'clock for John and okay. Kane. Let's see how many people are currently playing. Over 100, 182,046 people. And if you look on uh, Twitch, Counter Strike's been in the top five for years, whereas I can't remember last time Killing Floor 2 was even in the top 15. In terms of like browse by game, so yeah. And I mean, how even look doing this for grade. At, 
And even look at CSGO's community. I mean, when it was first released and kind of further on, before they enabled skins, or, I mean, not enabled, but uh, added skins, the game was, you know, dying. It did not have a good player base. Look at it now. It's got one of the biggest ones after, you know, once the skins were added, it became one of the biggest uh, games, I guess. Uh, oh, yeah, it became one of the biggest games on Steam. And on hell, PC even look at Team Fortress... You could argue biggest games in PC history. It's up yeah, there. Yeah, and hell, even look at Team Fortress 2, and I'm willing to admit, yes, Team Fortress 2 did have a, like, lowering, or not lowering, but, a, you know, the numbers are starting to go down for their player count. I'm going to admit that. I That is something I cannot deny. It was going down before um, manpower was, or uh, not manpower. Um, Gunmetal. Gunmetal, before Gunmetal was introduced. And I saw a huge resurgence of players get pushed back into that. And I mean, there were tons of complaints, like, you know, people complaining skins don't deserve in this game, yada, 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 contracts, all that stuff. And I know it's kind of hard to compare contracts with, you know, random drops, but again, I don't know where I was going with this anymore. It's a system multiple other games have adopted. No one at Tripwire is doing this for greed. It's not like, hey, want to go make some money? It's like, hey, we need to, we need some money or we're going under. And yes, I, I guess, well, at least I do. I do understand people's gripes with the whole, you know, it's completely random. You don't know what you're going to get. But I mean, technically you do because you know what's in the cases. But again, I do kind of see that worry that, you know, it is technically gambling. But, you know, some people are willing to take the risk. And if you don't like it, you know... Well, the reasons for why it has to be are known. And if you consider Tripwire situation, they kind of need it. Yeah. What are you going to do with an item if you don't like it? Uh, oh. Um, they did announce, too, that if you have, like... If you have a certain amount of items that you don't like or, you know, just want to get rid of, you can uh, exchange them, sort of. You can put them into a crafting system, which turns them into a skin that you do like. Say, for example, uh, by the way, John, there are going to be different. There's six rarities and three types of uh, scarage. Ah. But also, say, like, um, you have the most common type of skin... The thing uh, I want like to oh, go ahead. Before Brandon continues, I just want to say the thing he's talking about right now, which is like skin, quote unquote, crafting, putting them together to get better ones. That will not be in the upcoming update. That'll be at a later time, not this one. Yeah, I probably should have mentioned that. But um, basically, what's what's going to be coming is basically yeah, like I'm. Was it three specifically that they said, or yeah. was it just the number you pull on your ass? From what okay. I was told, it was three. Basically, it's like you get three of a same type of skin, or not same type of skin, but same. I'm guessing same quality. Uh, for all I know, it could be three random skins, or I don't know. It's just you know, get three skins, put them together, see if you can get one you want, or pick one you want. I don't know how that's gonna work. Again, it's up to Tripwire how they want to implement that system. And going back to what I was saying about their um, about how Tripwire kind of needs this money and why the gambling thing is required not so much from like a hey this is we thought this would be cool standpoint but from a business standpoint yeah and i mean what are you gonna do with an item if you don't like it yeah and i mean if you don't like the skins yeah i mean i guess that is kind of a bummer for you but if you do get some free skins from the drops you can always well, I, from my knowledge almost all the skins that are going to be available are marketable so if you get if you're just like die hard, oh this update is terrible, but I'm still gonna play the game. Like I know a lot of people that are writing the negative reviews are still probably gonna play the game. Um, but if you don't like the skins, you know just sell them on the marketplace and get some money out of it. And that's why the gambling thing exists. You don't like it, you sell it. Tripwire gets a cut of that sale. They stay in business that way. Resale value. And also, if again, if for some reason you're like, you know, boycott Tripwire, you also also do slightly need to remember, um, if you're gonna sell a skin for like a dollar, it's like five cents you're not gonna get back. So, and like most of that money is gonna go to Valve. So essentially, it's still like two cents for Tripwire. It's still minuscule. It's very small. Like what? There's a 
five percent tax on market items. Three percent goes to Valve. Two percent. Yeah. Goes about. to the developer if it's a big yeah. sale. Yeah, about. So you know. And that, sh that wraps us up, right? I think. Um, oh wait. Uh, they also did mention something like, uh, I don't know, I read in the article, it was like, they say that it's coming early December, but I think we did cover that. Right. They just mentioned it's December, it's coming very, very soon. So we're probably thinking either early or late next week, or at some point the following week. Just a kind of a closing thought, don't, uh... Please don't write a negative... I, okay, before I say this, I'm not, you know, trying to censor people or anything. I'm just saying, please at least don't write a negative review until you actually see the content in action, I guess you could say. Because it seems currently the community is blowing this out of proportion just a little bit. Just a little, haha. Mm. But... Yeah, just kind of wait and see for yourself how the content's going to be delivered and how it's going to work until you just instantly scream microtransactions and start, like, calling Tripwire Satan. Yeah, and might I add? Yes. Trip, uh, microtransactions aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Oh, yeah. Blame the mobile for that. Go ahead. They're kind of sort of where they originated. Yeah. But... They're not going anywhere. It's an easy way to make money, whether it's necessary or not, not necessary. It's still an easy way to do it. So don't get your undies in a bunch. Yeah, something. honestly. That's not important. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this is... And it kind of hurts to say this because a lot of game developers have done this bad in the past. Uh, and I'm not just talking about, you know, what happened last month, but I'm also talking about, like, just kind of mobile microtransactions, what COD's done, what Titanfall's done. You know, just, uh, I actually, I don't know, actually know about Titanfall's microtransactions, I so did. I don't know. Um, well, anyway, get, you know, go, speak. basically... Some of the chats um, at EA in general. Yeah. Yeah, just EA in general, yeah. But, uh, great, now I actually don't... <laughs> Oh, I'm sweating right now. I'm very nervous. And I know it seems like we're trying to support Tripwire, like, oh, leave Tripwire alone. Like, we're... We're just kind of trying to bring a more rational... This is our perspective. It's our opinion. We're not You're saying... You're allowed to that. disagree with that, but, you know... We okay. just want to remind you guys, Tripwire are people. They are people that are struggling. They need this. So... I don't think it's and necessarily fair. That might also to just sound say, like, "Hey, you know, fuck you for doing micros." Yeah. Also, it, that I know can kind of sound like you know we're just pulling that out of our ass and saying like that whole like leave Brittany alone crap like leave Tripwire alone. It sounds like we're it kind of sounds like we're doing that, but in reality, you can go look up this stuff for yourself. It's on the forums. You just gotta look hard enough. You just gotta find your Shiro. Go on the go on the KF2 forums. Go on Reddit. Go and on go and just we're anywhere. Talking we're talking Steam forums, not Tripwire forums. Oh no, I'm also talking about Tripwire forums. Even better. But yeah, just you know, kind of look around. You know, kind of look for Yoshiro's posts. He's kind of, I guess, he's the community manager. I'm not sure what exactly what he is. He but, does uh, most of community stuff for KF2. Yeah. So. Yeah, but he's essentially going around the forums explaining why this is happening, and you know, it, it, again, it. it, it it might sound like we're blowing it out of our ass, but, you know, just... The stuff we've at... said tonight has been reiterating, reiterating his stuff. Yeah, essentially. So, like we said, we know it's not popular opinion. We just want you to consider it, that these are people, they aren't in it just to screw you over. These aren't people that wake up every morning like, how can we rob our consumers today? Yeah, and also remember that uh, a lot of people are treating this as it's going to be its own update and it's coming before Gunslinger and everything's done. No, that's not true. It's been revealed that indeed uh, the trading floor has been 
uh, made by kind of a separate development team, to my knowledge, in that most and most of the skins themselves are made by the community from, you know, like winners of the uh, uh, poly count uh, contest they had going back in October. I think it was October, but um, you got to remember that most of these skins being like, I think they said like 95% of the skins. And again, you can actually go on the website, see the skins and, you know, look them up on the Polygon website the workshop, and on even. the uh, workshop too. You can see what skins are being uh, added by the community. Like This uh, isn't taking time away from other content. This yeah, is it's a made small... by a completely different team from what, I, what, we, what we've been told. This is a very small piece of an overall update. With this update, which, and everyone focusing on Zed Konami, we're getting a new boss, a new character, multiple new weapons, multiple new maps, new perk, all kind- did I say perk already? No, you yeah, haven't, I don't think so. So, you know, it's not as bad as everyone makes it sound. Yeah. They are demonizing Tripwire at the moment. Right. Yeah, and I mean... Is it a practice we totally love? I'm not a... It's not my favorite thing in the world, but it's a good game. These are good people, and they need yeah. this. And in the end, you also gotta remember, it's a video game. It's not like you're playing the New York... It's not like you're at the New York Stock Exchange or whatever. Right. It's a video game, it's have fun, and they're adding in a little extra content that you can use, that you can pay a little money for, or just get free stuff like that and it's again it's just a game these skins these hats or whatever they do not take away from core gameplay it's for and people they don't who want enhance to... anybody yeah these are completely cosmetic people are treating this like oh it's brand new weapons being locked behind tables hell i've seen some people on the forums that have deliberately gone out and said like or i have asked questions it's like um like when will the patriarch come oh we have to pay for him first it's like people are treating this like it's some form of like really just screwed up dlc when in reality it's just skins that are completely cosmetic they don't change your performance in any way yeah they may make you look cooler but it's just looks it's just eh. i'm going on a rant now and i want to say what you mentioned about like paid weapons they mention that it might be a thing they do in the future they currently don't want to do it or have plans to do that and if they did everyone in your server would have access to the weapons too yeah again there's also gotta you also gotta remember there is the shared content program or not really a program but a system where if someone comes in with exclusive content they're able to share it such as exclusive like, gameplay content so like yeah. for example the mr foster dos jacket which i want oh so badly yeah, if someone with the serve who has comes to the server, your foster can't put it on if you don't have your own copy of it. But, but say like they add like the flare revolvers from KF1, you don't have it, but another player has it. You get uh, it you as can long as still you're in use their server. Yeah. A perfect example is the Zweihander. You own Chivalry Medieval Warfare. You get a dual-handed German sword for the Berserker class. You don't own Chivalry. If someone in your server does, you can still use it. Yeah, you yeah. get to become a big daddy. No Yay! matter what. <laughs> See, like the example, one person that's watching the stream will get that, and it's amazing. Like, for example, Brandon, Ken, and I all love the Joy Hander in Killing Floor 2. Brandon uses it a lot, is that fair to say? Uh, that's, yes, it is very fair to say, but he does I will not say, own chivalry. again, Shared yeah, I content. don't own chivalry. Uh, I usually get it from John, but again, I punched the mic. Although I do like the Joy Hander, I will admit it's only a side grade. Like yeah. I've lasted longer with the uh, like with the final weapon and the pulverizer, uh, which is the sledgehammer shotgun exactly. blast thing. I it's honestly a side grade in my opinion. Like I can use it, but you know I can still get the same. I can get a little bit better functionality out of the base game weapons, like. And that reminds me to another point they said. If they end up doing those MT weapons, they will be side grades. Yeah. Well, no, they said if they were... Okay. They said also side one grade. thing I want to point out. But I know okay. they did say side grade, but I want to point out something else. A lot of people in the forums are like, oh, it'd just be better to pay for... Uh, it'd be better if these were all just DLC. I, if you look at KF1's history with DLC, they would charge weapon packs for like $8. 
And seeing how many weapon skins are coming in this, you really want to pay like, I mean like hell, just two of the two of the things would cost if they're going off the same market like of uh, seven ninety nine for weapon skins. That would mean hold on. There's five this. sets, so that would be forty bucks to get all the DLC if they yeah. went off the tr killing floor one model. This way is ultimately bringing less content for a greater price and helping Tripwire survive in the long run. And it's really that simple if you boil it down. And besides, again, most of the skins will be available from free drops. There are some weapons that they have said will be only available from the cases and from the market, but we can only assume, or at least I, me and John are, can only assume, assume, assume that they mean like uh, the, you know, the golden weapons and the rare stuff. Right, or, the golden you know, the top tier, tier stuff. god stuff, that is great only, but everything else, that's essentially that game's equivalent of unusuals or knives, you know? That's like the big one. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense that that's kind of... You need to give them support and pay for those. So... And they also said something Brandon didn't touch upon. There are skins that I believe you can only get paid. Or, sorry, free. There is stuff that is free only as well. So, yeah. And again, if you don't like the prices set, I mean, you can always just trade for them, like... Exactly, I mean, and we don't even know what the set price is. is. I assume 250 is that's essentially the standard for it. That's but... the standard for most games, but who knows? I mean, freaking Unturned. Again, that's also what I mentioned was it's an early access game. It's, uh, you know, it's got crates, but the keys are like 99 cents. So again, but then again, that is a game. It, I'm not going to go too far into that. Never mind. But again, like, you know, different games have different prices for their in-game currencies or not in-game currencies, but their in-game like content. I, yeah. And you don't, and I mean, you want to get a skin, but you don't want to pay money for it. Hell, just wait, get some free skins, and maybe, you know, you'll get the ability to craft into a skin that you want. Because, again, uh, I know that this isn't a system coming, but, you know, they did say that they are working on it and they want to implement this. And I'm just saying, oh, excuse me, that, again, we really don't know much other than what we've been, or... Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. All right. And, let's... Sorry. Go um. Ahead. Uh. So also, you're guaranteed one of these from beating a a match. Not guaranteed every single time, but oh, a decent but... amount. S still, you'd be getting more than CS:GO or TF2 or whatever, where right. it's this where... many per week. Whereas in right. TF2, it's based on playtime and. It's based stuff. on how well you perform. Yeah, like, and who knows, like... If you take the time to get good at the game and win a decent amount in a PvE game, you will be rewarded with something that you could potentially turn into monetary gain. And one might also assume that maybe the higher difficulties might give better loot. That, yeah, I believe, or... has been confirmed. So there you go. So yeah, if you're really good at Hell on Earth, be expecting to get some purples or whatever, whatever the grades are. If you take time to get good at the game, you get rewarded for playing the game. And taking the time to learn how to play it effectively and be part of the team. Yeah, again, you get rewarded and you're going to get rewarded for, you know, playing. Well, that got silent real quick. Does anyone have anything else, or...? Uh, no, I think we should be done here. Alright. Thanks now, to everybody that watched. And before everyone goes crucifying this, uh, just know that this is our own opinions. You don't have to agree to them. You know, we mm -hmm. respect that, we respect your opinions, but... Uh... Yeah, these are just our opinions. You can, you're allowed to disagree if you want to. Uh, but, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube or whatever, and the first thing you say is like, boo, you guys suck. You suck like, you guys, uh... Go fuck yourself, Luigi. Yeah. 
essentially that, uh, you know, at least tell us why you disagree so we can see your arguments too. Because right. I really don't like it when people just go to a video or, you know, go to one of our videos or whatever. I mean, this doesn't really happen in the past, but, uh, you know, I just don't like it when I see this happen. It's like they give like this long, uh, you know, argument on why they support the, a certain thing or they like a certain thing, and then someone goes and just says, "No, oh, you're a big fee. Get, go deal with it." And like they never say why they disagree or why they don't like this one thing. Right. So you know, if you're gonna come to our comment section, call us out. Good. Or, we welcome you to do so. Just yeah. Please. We want to see. We want to see your counter arguments here. We want to see what your opinions are. Just show up not, with a reason as opposed to going, "Hey, you suck. You're wrong." Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, we're not going to censor anybody. Like, we are open to discussion, but we just want yeah, to have a two-sided discussion. discussion. Yeah. And yeah, as long as it's more or less civil. Because right. I mean, a lot of the discussions on the forums have recently just evolved into name calling, um, and it's that's not again that's not going to that's not going to help anything if literally all that's going on in there is just name calling, and you know. It's just gonna turn out bad. All right. And I mean, I know I, I've kind of said this. Well, I've said this to my friends, but if you believe in the whole vote with your wallet thing, you know, do that or whatever. Because if you know you believe in that, then do that. Me personally, I'm okay with the system, and I'm honestly probably gonna buy some keys, maybe give them away on stream. I don't know. But uh, yeah. I'm okay with what's coming up, and it doesn't affect me too much, and I'm not going to lose my shit over it. Tripwire is not Satan. Whether or not you currently agree with that, we don't know. Tell us. We're interested in conversing. So. But again, you know, keep it civilized. Don't just, like, right. start screaming at us. So thanks to everybody that watched. We will see you tomorrow for night four of our five back-to-back -back stream day week and, and please know uh we were not paid to do this not at I don't all know we why, just but i feel like people are going to get the idea that we were paid by <laughs> yeah. tripwire to they can't afford them. to pay us right now they need to do this to survive <laughs> hey oh god john yeah too far i know but it's true this is just us speaking our minds yeah i mean the only reason we are kind of doing it today is just things have gotten really bad on the forums. I just thought we'd give our two cents on the whole issue. Before Considering the whole like debacle worse. of what happened last month. We don't want to see that happen again, especially when... The game is so young. Right. And, like, that other one, quote, quote... Has been going you know, for years. Like, it's over and two has. years old... And, and how many DLCs? Over hundred dollars worth of normal DLCs before the system was integrated. And you know, they say, hey, we need it for money, but then you you can slap down their like quarterly report and go, That's not true. Whereas with the yeah. tripwire one it's like we need it for money. Oh really? Let me just look into that. Oh, you actually do. So. Yeah, and uh, kind of, I know we're kind of delaying the ending here, but I also wanted to point out, you could kind of see this coming from a, like a mile away, because, you know, when they introduced the whole workshop system, it wasn't subscribe to get this in game or whatever. No, it was vote to see if you wanted this in game. It was fairly obvious if you looked close enough that this was going to come no matter what. Right. Because like, literally, they're not going to just put in game for and have free. Yeah. Or, I mean, yeah, some of them are for no free, but... compensate that. Yeah. And I'm and not going to end it yet, because someone's messaging me before we say that. What is the mm, message? That is irrelevant to current discussion. Oh, it's just a, just a normal message? It is... Starbreeze is forcing overkill. Huh? Regard... It's Starbreeze forced overkill to do this. There is no proof to that. Anyway, uh, I also kind of wanted to close out there. Uh, John, you keep talking. I'll get to my point in a second. I'm dumb. Hold on. So just speak on your mind. Oh, I have something 
Please yeah. stop saying that because they're doing this. That means that everything they do is going to be microtransactions. Yes. Please stop. Um, Nothing infuriates me more. I don't know if this is their exact team, but from their uh, team page on their website, there's only 29 people. Right. Well, so. hold on. Hold on. They have a group picture here. You guys keep talking and I'll cut them all off. Mm. So obviously not a lot of people, but, and honestly, if you play Killing Floor 2 and look at the amount of polish and lack of bugs in each update, it's amazing. Like, most AAA games aren't that polished when they push an update out. For example, the last update, which had something like, I think, eight weapons. All right, I got the exact count. Those were just the 29 head guys. Uh, there's a total of 42 people. Still not much. Yeah. You know, you last know. update, which had an overwhelming amount of stuff. I saw one bug. Yeah, I haven't seen any bugs, really. I mean, I mean, I do have some graphical bugs, but then again, I'm playing with a graphics card from 2009. On a 2015 they, game. Yeah. And a game that is literally... And like, the fact that he's able to play on that shows something about the optimization. Yeah, uh, and I'm playing at like 1440 something re resolution at like medium settings, so. Yeah. And so I far. I think no. we are done. Yeah. So thanks to everyone that watched. We'll see you tomorrow for another stream. We Not sure what it will be. Yeah. More and Siege we could always do. We could. We might. We probably yeah. will. We got Could a couple of requests for Halo 5, so I might do some of that. We'll see. Cool. How's the chat looking before we go? Empty. Currently, of yeah. current posts. How many so, viewers? I don't know. It doesn't tell me that on my phone. Mm. Uh, yeah. Uh, hit the, the, the list button thingy. Which one? Uh, uh it's top oh, right. Damn. Um, um, we oh. have... Yeah. So, one or two people. Mm. So... We will see you guys next time we stream. Thank you for listening to our little mini rant slash podcast. And Mostly uh, rant. Yeah. And until I mean, next time, y'all stay rusty. <laughs>